Today we're going to do something about my clock problem. We're going to be taking these two thrifted clocks and giving them each a unique twist to update them, make them a little bit prettier, and create items we can sell at our shop. This clock was $8 and the clock that Zeb is going to be transforming was $5. The problem that we have is that Zeb loves clocks but he's not getting to them. So we thought if we did this video today we could A, finish the clocks that Zeb's been buying and B, show you some fun ways and maybe something unexpected that you can do to transform thrifted clocks. First things first, we must disassemble. So this okay. one is cut out with a CNC and this one is molded plastic. So we're just going to take off the back. That's going to allow for us to refinish the face and spray the outside. Here's the clock face. This is what we're going to be working on. We'll take the back mechanism off. That way we've got a nice flat surface and we don't have to worry about getting paint or things on that. You can absolutely brush the outside that we're going to be painting, but we're going to spray it because it'll be a lot faster and it will get down in all those, those crevices. I'm going to be using DIY paint in apothecary to paint the back of this. It's the first part of my project because I have to get that dried and seal it and then I can put my transfer on. I went with apothecary because it's a nice springy color and we're starting to bring spring into our shop. We should pretty well get full coverage on this in one coat. Once that's dry, I'll seal it and we'll add the transfer. You can find DIY paint and IOD products at jamierayvintage.com. So Zeb asked me to paint his clock with DIY in Farm Fresh, which is actually good because then you'll get a side-by-side -side comparison of the two colors, which is one of our number one asked questions. What's the difference between Farm Fresh and Apothecary? One of the big differences between Farm Fresh and Apothecary is Farm Fresh is more blue and leads almost kind of a duck cave teal color, whereas Apothecary is a little bit more of a light green. While Jamie's painting the clock faces, I'm going to be spraying these because there's so much detail. You could paint them with a brush, but it's going to take us probably a quarter of the time to spray them. I'm using DIY paint. It's a 50% mix of white swan and crinoline. Gives us a nice cream color. And I've watered it down three parts paint to one part water. Plus I add a tablespoon of water on top of that in this 20 ounce hopper. This is just a Harbor Freight cheap HVLP. It goes on real nice because I don't have to really worry about highs and lows with this DIY paint. It's a flat finish, so if I've got any kind of streaks or things like that, I don't have to sweat that because it's going to all even out when it dries. I'm going to go ahead and seal this before I put the transfer on. The DIY paint is pretty chalky and matte, and so if you don't seal it before you put the transfer on, sometimes you have problems with adhesion. Sometimes if you wait 24 hours, it's not too bad, but I don't have time to wait, so we're gonna seal it and then transfer it. I'm sealing this with DIY Big Top. With transfers, you never want to use anything with harsh chemicals because this is all natural. It plays well with the IOD transfers. We have the Wallflower IOD transfer. We've already actually used it on a project that we recently sold. It was a suitcase, but I saved the rest of it. And with IOD transfers, I like to do that. I like to see how many projects can I get from one transfer. So I don't know where center is. Where's the center? So is? you're gonna have a little bit of overlap from the, uh, the face of that clock. So we don't I'm need thinking, to use though, the whole thing. Let's cut out all these side parts. Okay because we can add them back, but put them on the edge so there's not like a weird straight line. So let's cut out the middle and center that, and then we'll see if we need to add more. My kindergarten cutting skills are coming in handy. <laughs> okay, go that way, little, go that way. Because once you put it down, you're kind of committed. All right, that's good. Now that we have this down, we're gonna go ahead and use the stick that comes with it to release the transfer onto our painted surface and then we will probably add a few more embellishments from the transfer around the edges and we will be ready to add our clock face. Now that the transfer has been released, ta-da! Got a new clock face. 
Got a little crack on it. Got a little crack in there. After you apply your transfer, you're gonna use a clean, lint-free rag, or in my case, a paper towel to burnish. And all you're doing is just making sure that the transfer has made complete contact with your surface. After it's burnished, you can go ahead and do whatever product you are going to seal it with. I've got DIY clear wax. It's a nice creamy paste wax. And we're just gonna seal over the top of this to help that adhere and to protect it. If you didn't have wax, you could absolutely just throw another coat of big top over it. The other nice thing about wax is because it's gonna be under glass, I'm really not worried about buffing it. We'll just take a rag, wipe off the excess wax, and be good to go. I've got the flexible mount that comes with this. I'm not gonna be able to pick up the entire butterfly over here, but I think I should be able to get most of my design and then I'll have to be careful when I'm putting this one here down. Got my IOD stamp pad and IOD white decor ink. And we went with white because we wanted to give it kind of a softer feel. A darker color would make it a little more harsh and less springtime. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, and then I'll do this one here. We're gonna do that by hand? Yeah, I'm this bigger one and these two smaller ones that are kind of off of my mat, I'm gonna just do separate. He's going freestyle. I love freestyle. When we seal this, the white is gonna stick out even more because the paint dries light and when you seal it, it goes dark. So it'll be more contrast too. I've got my resting butterfly here that I'm just gonna put right at 12 o'clock, just sitting up here right on top. So I'm gonna keep building this along and going up. I'm gonna fill the whole thing up with butterflies because some are gonna get covered up with the clock face. Next, I know you're gonna be shocked, but we're gonna be distressing our clocks we decided not to distress the bases, so we're just gonna distress this top part, then we'll be ready to seal our pieces. Just some 220, just a light grit sandpaper. This one's plastic, so I'm not gonna go crazy on it. Just scuff it up, smooth it out. Remove any of the imperfections that might happen. The, uh, the dust that kicked up when I started spraying it. I'm sealing all these pieces up that are getting sealed with Sweet Pickens top coat. It'll go on real quick and easy and it's a nice matte finish. So I don't have to necessarily worry about the sheen on here, same as the paint, but it'll be real durable and wipeable finish when I'm done. The time has come to put these two pieces together. So I've got 12 o'clock up at the top here. And this was my top over here. Let's flip this over. Yeah, I think that's right. So let's say you get a clock and it's not working. These mechanisms like this, you can find at most craft stores, um, definitely online if you don't have access to that. And they're fairly inexpensive. They usually run anywhere from 10 to $15. Set your side in. Like it has a little spot where it fits, yeah? Yeah, it's got a, a little ring right here that I can slide it into. And then it sits down in there. For these clips? Yep. All right, Zeb, so your clock collection is down by two clocks. Down by two clocks. We still have a... Uh, a couple more clocks to work on. Show them all of them. Three. How many more? Four. And five. And this is only what I found. I'm wondering if there's more in the basement or the garage. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Our problem was we had too many clocks. Our solution was to at least get the two big ones done. We're going to keep working on them. I hope this inspires you to think outside the box when you're thrifting. 
you know, sometimes people pass up on these old dated clocks, but you really can give them a fresh new look either with stamping or the transfers. This one in particular was very kind of blah. Yeah, absolutely. With a little bit of paint and an idea, I feel like you can take something that maybe not your style and turn it into something great. We'll sell these at the shop originally $5 and $8, and we'll probably wind up selling it for probably around $50 and $60. So good little profit there. Make sure you guys are visiting jamierayvintage.com for the paint and products we use today. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.